So far, the state is reporting 559 cases in Florida schools in just the last two weeks. Cases that could strengthen the, the state's case in the Florida Teachers Union, which is fighting the state over when to return to campus. Today, a judge ruled in favor of the Florida Educator, Educators Association, saying the order that forces schools to reopen by the end of the month is unconstitutional. 10 Tampa Bay's Emerald Morrow explains what this means for your kids and their schools. You lost today, Mr. Commissioner and Mr. Governor, because you're wrong. We won because we're on the side of right. The side of right is about public health and public safety. It was a key victory for the Florida Education Association. It is a pushback on politics overtaking safety and the science and the well-being of communities. Today, a judge declared the state's order forcing schools to reopen physically is unconstitutional. The temporary injunction gives power back to the school districts to make reopening decisions when the science says it's safe. But the State Department of Education has already appealed the decision, saying in a statement, quote, we are 100 percent confident we will win this lawsuit. This fight has been and will continue to be about giving every parent, every teacher and every student a choice, regardless of what educational option they choose. End quote. And for local districts, that means it just puts us back in limbo and likely puts things on hold. Hillsborough School Board member Tamara Schamberger testified on behalf of the teachers union as the district defied the state's order to reopen and faced losing more than $23 million in funding. She's relieved the judge sided with the FEA, but knows the battle is not yet over. When they appeal, then we just kind of are stuck. And so I would assume, though, that that means that we will just continue forward as we currently are, which unfortunately means opening our doors back on the 31st into relatively unsafe conditions for our students and our teachers. Now, there has been no comment from Governor Ron DeSantis. The Hillsborough County School Board has a workshop and a meeting tomorrow where they're going to discuss the judge's decision and what to do next. But they say they won't make any decisions just yet while they let the legal process play itself out. But the FEA is hoping the state will compromise and just meet the American Federation of Teachers guidelines to get back in class. Let's take a deeper dive into what those are. To gradually reopen, the AFT wants physical distancing maintained until there's been a decline in new cases for at least 14 consecutive days. We've had three, by the way. They also want the infrastructure and resources to test, trace, and isolate new cases must also be put in place with public health tools deployed to prevent the virus from spreading. They also want to see community involvement with local workers, unions, parents, and communities involved in all types 